Welcome to TFN Smart Trading Action Alert. I'm Laura Cadden. Renewable energy is a booming area for investors and traders alike. But what are the most profitable trends? Many of our guests have focused on hybrid vehicles. How about alternative fuels, such as ethanol and biodiesel, or the feedstocks involved with their production, such as soybean? I'm pleased to have Jeff Siegel with me today. He is the managing editor of the popular publication Green Chip Stocks and has recently launched a new trading research service called the Alternative Energy Trader. Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Thanks for Jeff. having me. Pleasure. Given the current price levels and high volatility of traditional energy resources, it seems the time has finally come for potential gains in alternative energy um, for investors and traders alike. Now, there's a lot of focus right now on new alternative energy sources and, of course, some of those that aren't so new. Mm -hmm. Where do you see the greatest trends, the greatest potential for gains? Well, right now, um, you know, some of the biggest hype we saw a couple of years ago came from ethanol. Um, you know, some of these stocks were, were b being priced at ridiculous, at ridiculous levels. Um, and it came down, obviously. There's a huge sell-off last year. And right now, we're looking at a lot of ethanol stocks trading really close to some record lows. And people that were well aware of this industry early on, the, the smart investors that, are, that realized you have to look at the market as a whole, not just every other quarter, knew that higher corn prices were coming. Uh, and right now we're seeing quarterlies coming out that are showing uh, increased corn prices that have really affected the bottom line. Uh, a year ago, corn was going for about $1.68 a barrel or a bushel. Uh, earlier this year, it hit 405 per bushel. So you're talking about an increase of over 100%. Obviously, that's going to impact the bottom line. Um, but the advantage here is we're kind of looking at a situation where because these stocks are trading so low, they're presenting some bargains. Um, because the fact is ethanol is, is here. It's not going away. Legislation is going to make sure that it's going to be here for the next few years. Um, more corn is being planted now, so the corn prices are going to come down. Uh, efficiency technology is coming online this year, so that's going to allow a lot of these ethanol producers to put more ethanol on the market without putting as much, uh, much behind the input cost. So for traders uh, looking for an opportunity in ethanol, I would, I would say that in the next couple of weeks, you're going to see some great bargain prices. Um, and in the long term, if, if, you can, if, you can hand, if you can handle the bumps and bruises along the way, um, you could do pretty well in the next year or two. Well, speaking of these crops that are at such a premium now because of alternative fuels, you know, there is, of course, corn. There's also soybean for biodiesel. But I've read some of your writing where you found a crop that can potentially replace these raw materials? Absolutely. Um, well, in biodiesel, uh, there's a, a plant called Jatropha. It's grown in Africa, India. How do you spell that? It's Jatropha, J-A-T-R-O-P-H-A. Um, and the great thing about Jatropha is it's not it, it's a it's a crop that can be used specifically for fuel because it it, can, it can't be used for human consumption. It's essentially poison if you eat it. Um, but the, the advantage here is uh, it doesn't have to compete with crops that are used for human consumption. Um, it can it can grow it can be grown very easily. Um, input costs are practically nothing. It needs very little water. Um, it, it, compared to corn. Uh, or soybeans, it's, it's you know, the, the amount of money that's saved just on input costs is astronomical. Um, and the great thing about Jatropha is it actually has a very high oil content. So if you look at palm or soybean, which is essentially what we use right now for biodiesel, mm -hmm. um, the oil content in Jatropha is like three to four times what we can get from, from uh, soybean or palm. Uh, the, the great thing about Jatropha right now, though, is if you watch to see where they're planting it. It's being planted in record numbers right now in Mexico. Um, so you have to ask yourself, why are they planting so much Jatropha in Mexico right now? What's well, obvious is for biodiesel. I mean, in the United States, we're going to continue to use a lot of biodiesel in the next five, ten years, and even beyond. Um, Mexico is a, is a prime spot to grow this stuff. You can't eat it. So obviously, it's being grown for biodiesel. Um, and because Mexico is our neighbor, it's very easy to get it, as opposed to having to go to India or Africa to, to ship it in. Um, so Jatropha, you know, I, I, would I would say that in the next couple of years, any biodiesel pr producer that can use Jatropha is going to make a lot of money. Hmm. Well, then let's move on for a moment to hybrid vehicles. Mm -hmm. It's a big topic here on Smart Trading. A lot of our editors have discussed all the potentials right now on hybrid vehicles. Where is it that you see the best opportunities currently? Well, I see two opportunities here. Um, one is in the commercial market. Um, there's a lot of legislation going on right now in, in Washington, um, and it's going to get passed. Mm -hmm. um, there's no politician who's going to vote against it because he wants to get elected next year. Uh, so what's going to happen is when this legislation gets passed, and a lot of it is going to be towards for tax credits for hybrid vehicles, um, the, the first sector that's really going to take advantage of this will be the government fleets, state-run fleets, garbage trucks, municipal buses, school buses, things like that. Um, 
we've seen the pre, everyone talked about Toyota Prius and the, and the Honda Insight, and they, they made so much money. That's absolutely nothing compared to what the commercial market holds. Um, and I would suspect that the companies that are producing the drivetrains, uh, the electrical components, these are the companies that are really going to make out well over the next couple of years. And you've written a special report for us, yes, right, on yes. this, on a potential um, a company that you think is going to do well. Yes, with this is a, a, a company out of Canada, Azure Dynamics. They're an excellent company. Um, they've been the, the great thing about this company. They've been at it for a while. They, they ten years ago, they were working on uh, drivetrains for electric vehicles before, you know, anyone really thought anything would ever come of that. Um, they have contracts with uh, the United States Postal Service, Purelater. Um, they have a deal with Ford right now, um, and. I specifically like this stock because it's trading ridiculously at ridiculous low levels right now. Um, after the, the uh, correction last year, as with many alternative energy stocks, it, it took a pretty significant hit. Had some rough quarterlies in the beginning of the year. It, it went down even further. Um, at this point, much like some of the ethanol stocks we're seeing, we're seeing an excellent bargain uh, bargains in, in, in this market, specifically with this company. Um, and you know, the great thing about this company, they already have contracts with state government. So again, when this legislation gets passed, mm -hmm it's going to go right to, to companies that, are, that already have relationships with, with state and local governments. Well, we're going to post that report on um, taipanfinancialnews.com under investment strategies, and it's called a Hybrid Technology Investing. Well, let's talk for a moment about your new trading research service, um, the Alternative Energy Trader. Mm -hmm. What is your trading philosophy? Well, you know, essentially, the one thing we really like, really like to look at is market conditions more than anything else. Mm -hmm. I, I can tell you a couple of years ago when we first started our green ship service, when I would I recommended a number of solar companies and eth ethanol companies, and I was inundated with uh, emails from people telling me I was crazy. You know, oil is going to go back down to forty dollars. All these, <laughs> you know, the, the, these these companies are worthless. Um, but you know, the fact is, you know, we were looking at legislation. We we knew two years ago that legislation was being introduced for new renewable fuel standards. Um, so, I mean, if that's not an indicator, I don't know what is. You know, mm -hmm. and again, I mean, I, I would I would make reference to these things, um, and and some people would say, well, look at look at their financials. They're horrible. They're burning through cash. Well, you know, that's all well and good, but you know, a lot of our subscribers made a lot of money off these companies in 2006 and, and beginning of 2007. So. I mean, you really have to focus. You can't really disregard the financials, obviously, but if, if you lose sight of the, of the bigger picture. I mean, alternative energy is a completely different uh, uh, animal, really. I mean, it's, it's still so young and so new, and there's so much going on that if you, if you disregard the market conditions uh, simply for an, an occasional quarterly, you're going to miss the boat. Do you consider yourself a technical trader? Um, I, I would consider myself someone who's been immersed in this market for a very long time. I'm not just a, uh, someone who researches the marketplace. I've actually been a part of this marketplace for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, so I really understand the, how strong the demand is, and I understand um, the technology that, that's coming online every single day. Um, obviously, again, I mean, you, you can't ignore technicals, but uh, uh, you know, the fact that um, if, it's almost like you, you must have to live it to really understand how it works and, and to see really where it's going to go and to really appreciate the potential. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show Absolutely. and sharing your expertise. Thank you. To learn more about Jeff Siegel's trading information service, The Alternative Energy Trader, go to www.altenergytrader.net. Please tune in next week for another profitable opportunity on TFN's Smart Trading Action Alert. For TaipanFinancialNews.com, I'm Laura Cadden. <laughs>